Hi and good morning. Today is the 7th of July 2017 and we are continuing with the Songs of Songs chapter 6. Today we are looking at verse 5 and this is what it says. Turn your eyes away from me. They enchant me. Your hair is like a flock of goats moving down from Gilead. Now I have already posted on the second part of this first verse your hair is like a flock of goats moving down from gilead we met that verse in songs of songs chapter 4 verse 1 but in the previous post in um, songs of songs chapter 6 verse 4 we say this that god looks at us and he admires us he admires our beauty because we are his handiwork he has created us he has loved us so much that he sent his only begotten son to die for us. So the beauty is in the beholder's eye and he is the beholder who sees the beauty in what he has created. Remember, even in the previous post somewhere along, we had said that God transforms us. He loves us the way we are, but he doesn't leave us the way we are. He keeps on transforming us from one glory to the next glory. And as I was thinking about this verse, I thought about enchantment. And I was thinking, what can enchant you and I to the extent that we feel like closing our eyes? I was taken back to the story of Moses in Exodus chapter 3, I mean chapter 33 and chapter 34. In both chapters, Moses in one of the chapters in chapter 33, he's asking, God, show me your glory. If you are sending me to rescue these people or to redeem these people or to set these people free, then I need your glory to walk with me. I need to go with your glory. And God promised, I will go with you. And then when he had set them free and in Exodus 34, Moses went to spend time with God on Mount Sinai. And when he came down, people saw the glory of God shining on his face. Although he didn't see God face to face, because God said to him, if you see me face to face, then you shall not leave. Therefore, when he came down, that experience with God was enough to give him that glory that was shining on his face. Now, today, as you go about your day to day activities, it's my prayer that we will experience the presence of God and we will know a measure of God's glory enough to see that we can turn and rely and trust on God. There is a lot of glory the creation, the wonderful nature, you and I, like I said, we are the handiwork of God. There is the glory of God because he has created us in his image. But when the Holy Spirit comes, he overshadows us with the glory of God. And it's my prayer that you will continually experience the presence of God through his Holy Spirit and you will know of the glory of God in your life and in the life of those that we have been called together. So have a wonderful, glorious day and may God just reveal himself to you so that you will continually know that he is God. God bless you and have a wonderful, wonderful day.